What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And if you guys haven't heard, Cydia has been updated once again with some very crucial fixes. So if you guys have been asking me nonstop on Twitter, which some of you have, if you can enable your passcode on your device. Well, after you update Cydia, this new update allows you to enable your passcode and reboot your device. So if you guys aren't aware, if you had passcode on your device and you rebooted, then it actually put your device into a boot loop, which can be incredibly annoying because you usually have to restore your device. Now, along with that awesome fix, we also have some really nice things that updated within Cydia. So you can see right here, if we go ahead and tap on Cydia, the first thing that you're gonna notice if we turn our device landscape, you're gonna see that we have landscape support for the iPhone 6 Plus as well as the iPad. So this was actually working on all devices previously, but Soric actually updated it, and now it's only working on the 6 Plus as well as the iPad. Maybe he'll update it again and allow all devices to do this. But that's not the only thing that's changed within Cydia. Another thing that's really, really nice is the ability to multitask. So we have multitasking support in iOS 8. So if you guys would, you know, queue up tweaks, which I always do, you can see right here if you don't know what I'm talking about. If we tap on a tweak here, let's tap on something that's actually compatible. So let's say we wanted to install this tweak, but we also wanted to install another tweak. Well, rather than just tapping install and then tapping confirm to install that tweak and then respring our device, we can just queue that tweak. So now it's in our queue. So now if we go back to changes, then we can install another tweak and you can see that it's uh, in the queue just by the green highlight right there. So now let's just tap on another tweak that's compatible, which this one is. So we're gonna tap install. So then we tap continue queuing right here. And then you'll notice that we have a badge right here. So you can put as many tweaks as you want into the queue and then install them all at once. So here we have our badge, we tap on that and then tap on our queue. Then you can see that we have those two tweaks to install right there. And then we can just tap on confirm and it's going to install those tweaks. Well, if you used this before, then one of the really annoying things was if you tried to get out of the application or if you accidentally got out of the application, then it would reload and it would get rid of your list of tweaks. Well, now with multitasking support, you can see that if we go into a tweak right here, or I'm sorry, an application, and we're using this application for whatever reason, and let's say we go into Safari for whatever reason, well, we can actually go back to Cydia and still have our modifications right here. So we can just tap on continue queuing, and you can see that nothing goes away. Our tweaks are still there, ready for install, just by going back to the application. Now, and you can actually also close out of the app itself right there, just go into your home screen. Maybe you're gonna go into Twitter, open that up, and then once you're done with Twitter or whatever, you can go back into Cydia and still have your queue right here. Another really nice thing about Cydia is if you've been using it on iOS 7, then you noticed a really annoying uh, ad that would basically just redirect you directly into the App Store without any notification whatsoever. You would basically just go into you know, a repo or you would go into a tweak description and it would direct you right to the App Store. So it would close out of Cydia and that would sometimes actually get rid of your queue list, which was extremely annoying. So again, that gets rid of that. There's no more window hijacking within Cydia, so that's definitely pretty sweet. Now another really annoying thing within Cydia on iOS 7 was the videos in the tweak description. So if you actually got a video within a tweak description, just like this, then when you tapped on it, it would actually make your entire screen black and it would freeze your phone there for a little while. And it was very annoying. You would have to reboot your device and it basically was just an annoyance. But now those work, as you can see right here, if we just tap on play, you can see that it starts to load and then it should go full screen here in just a second once it uh, continues to load here. So you can see that those work are just fine. So definitely a huge plus right there as well. So in my opinion, a huge update to Cydia for iOS 8. Let me know what you guys think about the new Cydia in the comments below. Not only that, but let me know what you would like to see within Cydia. Something that I'd like to see is a whole lot better searching. Maybe filters that would allow you to search for specific type tweaks or even tweaks that would be compatible with your specific iOS version. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right, guys, until next time, peace.